our next competitor. Bib number 56 from the Ukraine, Alona Bushlaeva. She's been looking really fast and focused out there this morning. I watched her semi-final run and she was very, very impressive. Hopefully she can repeat her efforts. In the final, she starts off with a fantastic boof stroke. Perhaps getting just a little bit too far to the right of the race course there, touching the rocks on the side of the river. That'll milk off just a little bit of time. So she'll be looking to go through the entry falls there where she subs out, but this is where she's gonna really need to make up that time. This is where these athletes will be paddling their hardest, putting in those deep, strong strokes, trying to keep their boat flying downstream and try and catch up those valuable seconds on their fellow competitors. Alona dropping into the TNT cataract. Beautiful line off that little slide rock. You see there, she just tapped it enough to kick the nose of her boat up without stalling out. Drop it into the main TNT cataract itself. Getting a little spun out and pushed to the left hand side of the course. She won't mind that, but she'll get a slightly easier line through Champions Killer minus one on that left hand side. She'll be hoping now as she drops into the Champions Killer to load up the stern of her boat. Oh, getting a little bit of a back end of there. It looks impressive when the athletes get their boats to stand up on their stern like that, but unfortunately it, it takes away valuable time. And as we can see, Jennifer Crimes is going to remain our current leader. Alona Bushlaeva from the Ukraine coming in six seconds slower. She's no stranger to competition coming from a strong slalom background, but today it's all about going as fast as she can down the Ballabrook Rapids. But we see Jennifer has been given the green light. Has a great seal launch there. You can see she skipped off the water. She maintains a lot of boat speed, and that's one of the tricks to really getting a fast time on this course is keeping your boat speed and momentum heading downstream. It sounds like that's a very simple principle, but there's so many spots on this river where you can lose boat speed, you can stall out, lose those valuable tenths and one hundredths of a second, and in a race as tight as this, that'll make all the difference. But Jennifer looking like she's having a great line here as she enters the mandatory left line. She'll be looking to just kiss this rock enough to skip out without hanging up. That's a fantastic line from Jenny as she enters the TNT cataract, a nice big boost stroke. She'll be looking to keep it clean all the way through here. Opting to take the left line through the Champions Killer minus one. We'll get in a little bit flipped on the side there, putting in a brace stroke, which corrected her boat angle and meant she didn't have to roll. Now she enters the Champions Killer itself, getting a little subbed and stalled out there, but man managing to stay in the main flow of the river. Getting a little touch as she goes through the final notch and across the time across the line with a time of 109.55 bit number 54 the legendary Marianne Seether from Norway Marianne has been kayaking all around the world for many many years and she's widely regarded as one of the best female kayakers on the planet great line off the seal launch rock there and straight into her work you can see Marianne extremely focused and looking like she's having a good line. This is where she'll draw on her slalom training she's been doing for the last couple years. She's been recently competing in the Slalom World Championships at Lee Valley in London, where she had a satisfactory performance in her words. But if it was any of us more mere mortals, we would have been extremely impressed with the effort she did. But now we're turning our focus back to the sick line course. She's having a great line as she drops into the TNT cataract, keeping her boat nice and high and dry flying through that hole that's been tripping up a few, a few of our athletes. She's opted to take the faster right-hand line on Champions Killer minus one. Makes it clean past that trip up rock with just the Champions Killer to go. Great line from Marianne there. She's been having a few little bits of difficulties through, during the training week, but she'll be absolutely wrapped with that. And you can see her time is gonna put her more than on top of the leaderboard. She's six seconds ahead. So here we are at the flower ceremony for our women and our first ever Adidas Sick Line Extreme Kayak World Champion in the women's class from Norway, kayaking legend Marianne Sida. Our top three women from the Ukraine, Alona Bushlaeva. 
from Great Britain, Jennifer Crimes, and once again, of course, our women's world champion, Marianne Sida from Norway.